friends, good morning or afternoon or evening, whenever you're seeing this. I am starting my day. Today is a school morning, so I'm going to film like a day in the life style vlog. Just a regular day in the life of a mom vlog, whatever I want to call it. Getting the girls some breakfast ready, getting their cereal ready in the, this morning. Um, Callan also eats breakfast, but we wait until we got get back from school drop off so I will get the girls some breakfast and then I'll usually nurse Callan and then we get ready to go to school and then when we get back I'll get his breakfast the girls are just eating some cereal this morning just keeping it super simple um, usually it's cereal or a waffle or a cereal bar or something like that it's just very simple before we have to head out the door filling up my water bottle for the day taking my medicine that I take every day it's just a thyroid medicine and getting Delaney's lunchbox ready and then getting my coffee ready and then we are headed out the door for school drop off. Okay. Oh, we did get a new van, didn't we? So, my alarm, something's been up with my alarm lately and has not been waking me up when it's supposed to. And so, my intention every morning, this morning, I was going to get up and get ready for the kids and just get ready for the day. But here I am, didn't get to. I do have a hair appointment later, but I'll still probably do something to it today. But I don't know what has been up with my alarm. It has not been going off like it should. Ethan says I'm just sleeping through it, which I'm a light sleeper, especially like when it comes to the kids. I hear every footstep the kids make if they get up in the middle of the night. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm just accustomed to this sound to my alarm. I think, I think tonight I'm going to change the sound and see if that helps. I really think it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's just my alarm. I could not tell you. But it's really frustrating because I want to get up get ready and yet my alarm just don't wake me up i don't know but i've got a crock pot meal uh we're gonna make it a little bit later after i get home i need to see how long it's gonna take to cook so i know what time i need to put it on for supper tonight hey can i have just a sausage and egg biscuit just a biscuit and then can i get a large bow round and that'll be it so i am getting ethan don't y'all love this angle um getting ethan some breakfast this morning i got the i got like a big bow round to share with the kids too but i'm gonna give most of them to him we're gonna drop it off at his work i thought i'd do that this morning for him okay let me uh grab it the girls want a different movie in um sing they want to watch sing they were watching trolls say good morning good morning good morning you want your breakfast i'm gonna fix callan's breakfast um I'm gonna wait to eat mine, which I'm just gonna eat my meal prep, my breakfast meal prep. If y'all didn't see that video, it's such a good one. Um, it's the last video that I put out before this one, meal prep and breakfast and lunch. Um, I'm gonna make Callan, I think I'm, uh-oh, you okay? I think I'm gonna make Callan some peanut butter toast and maybe a banana. All right, so while he's eating his breakfast, show y'all this y'all y'all may know this i didn't know this until i saw it on a little um like baby led weaning page on instagram did y'all know that so i give callan like a half a banana and did y'all know a banana breaks like naturally into three parts i never knew this you just kind of like keep mashing just a little bit gently and then like right here it like naturally breaks 
into three parts, which is perfect for like baby led weaning. Like a little strip like this is what I give him. I never knew that until I saw that on the little baby led weaning page. I am gonna give him his breakfast. I did this yesterday because I didn't get to work out before the kids got up yesterday morning either. Um, so this is why I need to um, make sure my alarm's working right or whatever's going on. So that way, like, get up before the kids, work out, shower, and then I'll be ready for the day. While the kids are occupied this morning, I'm gonna eat Callan's breakfast and I'm gonna let him come in my room with me while I do a bike workout. Yesterday I just did a 20 minute workout and it worked out great. Um, I'll either do, I'm gonna try 30 minutes today if he does well enough while he's eating his breakfast and it kind of keeps him occupied while I get that done um, so I can try to get a workout in. All right, Callan, you ready for your breakfast? Millie's playing with her baby. Can you tell him your baby's name? Joy. Baby Joy. She named her baby Baby Joy. I got a crib. She's got her crib, yeah. Yeah. She's playing with all her little changing pad stuff. You got her food? Yeah. Yeah? I think Ren's in the potty. Is Ren using the potty? All right, I'm gonna turn a little show on so I can quickly do a little workout. You wanna do Coca Melon, Paw Patrol, or Bubble Guppies? So I'm gonna to try to get this done. It's definitely not ideal to do all the while also occupying the kids, but it's gonna to work today. All right, so let's see. I said I'm gonna to try to do a 30 minute ride. The kids hopefully will stay occupied during that time, at least get most of it in. Um, I'm gonna do a 90s hip hop. I love hit workouts. I think I'm gonna do that. Ooh, level three. It'll be a good workout. I think I'm going to do this one. do I wear something that's not like comfy and leggings and except when I go to church to put a dress <laughs> or date night sometimes I wear jeans or something hey okay um I got 16 minutes in my workout so that's something right uh he was done after that see I was not having it anymore I got the kids ready I got myself ready for the day we were gonna head out and wash my car today but I, we're, I think we might try to do that after one of the kids' toys. After nap time is my goal to try to do that. Let me close my closet. He was in here playing. Um, I hope to do that after nap time today. And actually, um, when we got my new car, I got like an unlimited pass at our car wash. And it's just cheaper to do it that way. Um, and I've been using that all the time. Like anytime I'm in town, I run through and wash my car. Um, so we're, I think we're gonna try to do that later because I was thinking I wanted to run out and do that, but I really want them to sleep good at nap time today. And I know he's gonna fall asleep as soon as we get in the car, which means he probably won't go down for a nap very easily. So I decided to wait until after nap time and then we might do that. But I need to do some laundry today and, um, Pretty much just catch up on that and just do my basic everyday cleaning um we need to do a little bit of school work for Ren today oh i need to go put my crock pot recipe on i need to look that up and see how long it takes i've got to go do that i just remembered that was what i was going to cook for dinner tonight and i hadn't done that yet do you want to help me do my crock pot recipe or maybe i could do it during nap time i don't think it's going to take too long hey darling can i tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Near the country 
countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car throw um, some supper on for tonight. It takes like four to five hours to cook and it's about 12.30 so it'll be perfect. I'm going to make slow cooker lasagna. I feel like I've made this before but I can't remember for sure. I know I've made lasagna in slow cooker. I don't know if I've made this recipe before. Um, I'll leave the recipe below. It's just it's a uh, recipe from the skinniestdish.com um, which I love a lot of her um, like healthier versions to watch your recipes um but i am like changing a little bit the meat i think she called for ground turkey and maybe sausage i can't remember i'm just doing ground beef i'm not worrying about the turkey or sausage i'm just gonna do ground beef so my points might change a little bit i really don't know um i'm gonna brown this up and then um throw get everything else ready to throw in the crock pot all right so the ground beef is going um also for this recipe you're going to need some lasagna noodles i think i only need like half of these um so instead of 16 ounces i need eight ounces of these so i'll use half of those uh we're going to need two cups of mozzarella cheese and then we're going to need some oregano we're going to need some basil um we're going to need some worcestershire sauce uh low-fat cottage cheese uh parmesan cheese crushed tomatoes this is a 28 ounce can and then a 16 where well, this one's 14 half can ounce can of petite diced tomatoes and then i've got my onion and i'm also going to grab some of my minced garlic as well my meat is just about done so i'm going to go ahead and add all of this onion and this is 96 percent lean ground beef that's what I try to always buy. I'm gonna do some garlic. We love garlic. I love garlic, so I'm gonna put a good bit of garlic. Um, I'm gonna cook this until the um, onions look kind of translucent, I guess. All right, so while that's cooking, I've gotta add more stuff to that, but I'm gonna give that a little while to cook. I'm gonna go ahead and make my cheese mixture I need two cups of this cottage cheese. I need one and a half cups. We're going to use this whole bag of mozzarella cheese. This is the part skim, blood moisture part skim mozzarella cheese. But for now, I just need um, one and a half cups of it. So I'm going to reserve some of it for the top. So I'm going to use most of it and then I'll save that. I probably want to put too much half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Actually, scratch that, a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese is all you need. To the heaping fourth of a cup. All right, and I'm gonna give that a good stir. To our meat, we're gonna add our tomatoes to the diced, and then also the crushed tomatoes. We need two teaspoons of oregano. Nope, do I need oregano? Yes, two teaspoons of oregano. Two teaspoons of basil. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then I added a cup of water to that. And this is so full, so I've gotta be careful here. Um, I'm gonna just give this a good stir. Also, I'm gonna have to change because I got the sauce on me. I put the sauce in this bowl to make it easier to transfer, but we're gonna go ahead and start assembling everything. I'm gonna start with some sauce while I'm making this. I'm pretty sure I have made this before, so if y'all remember me doing a video on this, let me know because I really, pretty sure I have made it before. 
Um, I just remember this. And then I'm going to do a layer of lasagna noodles. Definitely feel free to break these up. Should have broke that one up right there. And then I'm going to do a third of the mixture. Also, I did spray this um, really well. I'm out of slow cooker liners and I keep forgetting to add more to the grocery order. All right, now I'm going to do another layer of sauce. Another layer of noodles. And then more mixture. Alright, then more sauce. And then I'm going to add the remaining noodles. The rest of the cheese. And I'm going to add the rest of the sauce to the top. Alright, then lastly I'm going to add the rest of this mozzarella cheese to the top. Then I'm going to cover, and this is going to cook for four to five hours. So it should be done around 5 to 5.30, which is probably about the time we need to eat tonight before we go to church. So that's what it looks like. I think it'll be good. I feel fire. Let's get out. We can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Sad is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Yeah, we only get one life. I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take. I'm headed out to get my hair done. Just doing my usual, touching up my roots, getting a little trim. I think I'm just gonna do a little trim. I've been contemplating lately, should I cut shoulder length? I don't think I'm going to. I like the length of my hair that it is now. So, getting ready to do that. Just gonna go get my roots done. If I didn't get blonde, I have a lot of grays that would show through. Um, so that's why, uh, I went back blind several years ago. Well, I don't know, five, six, I don't know how long ago I went back blind. I used to get highlights a long time ago, then I went back brown, and then, like, it was really hard to maintain without, like, having to touch it up because, like, grays really would show through. Like, it's just, like, a hereditary thing. My mom, my sisters. Um, so, anyways, that's what we do. Just touch up the roots with blonde, and then... We'll give it a trim. I've got a lot of breakage in my hair, but I think last time she literally, she just put the color on the roots and didn't worry about any of the rest of my hair to kind of keep it healthy. So this is a before. It's not gonna be much different, just the roots, so. All right, my hair is done. It looks great. It looks really good and light. So we added color, or she added color. Um, bleach, whitener, whatever you call it. And then um, she washed it and then she does a toner on it afterwards. Cause sometimes right here, it doesn't get, it's just brassy. And so the toner just really lightens it up. So it's perfect. I like it, it looks good. All right, so did you get, um, did you spray some spray butter on them? Okay, cool. And then the lasagna, Callan's ready to eat. He's eating snacks. The lasagna looks really good. Good and done, I think. Yeah, he turned it off so it can need to go ahead and fix the kids' plates because 
I'm trying to look for, here we go. Um, it's hot. So we're going to go ahead and And fix theirs up. All right, I've got Callens. I bet he's gonna love it. I've got all the kids. We're waiting on the bread. So I wanted to share the points. So an eighth of this, I put in my recipe builder and did it since I use like different ingredients and stuff. So it's nine points per serving. It's a really big serving. So um, I did want to share that for those of y'all who do follow Weight Watchers and are looking for a recipe. It smells really good. Um, so got everybody's plates. Fix. You ready for church? Yeah! You look so cute. Like, Rin loves this dress. She picked it out today. Picked it out way earlier in the day. Let me see your dress. Can I see? I want, I want my jacket. You want your jacket? Okay. Let's see. Let's see yours. You can stand up. Let me see. Woo! Look at you. All right. So we are ready to go. What you do? That's so sweet. She's your best. All right, let's go get in the car. You ready? Let's go. Yeah. yeah. I, oh my goodness. All right, dinner was delicious. I'll pull my hair back again. I love this little side twist. Dinner was delicious. Got it in the crock pot. It's cooling off. And by the time we get home, it should be completely cool for me to put it in the refrigerator for leftovers. I've got Ethan some leftovers for work. It made a lot of leftovers, actually. We've got like, uh, not quite half of it. It was so good though. If y'all haven't tried the recipe, it's a really good, um, like lower calorie, I guess. Low point lasagna recipe. It's so good. Ethan and I both loved it. Um, Callan loved it too, didn't you, buddy? Oh, did you love your lasagna? Yeah. Did you love it? I know. You look so cute with your little elephant. I hope y'all enjoyed. Come along for a day. We're actually headed to church tonight and then we will come home and get the kiddos in bed and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.